In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the top three reasons of why Amazon FBA sellers fail in the first year of selling on Amazon and what you need to do to avoid failure. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Brad Sherman, seven figure seller. And on this channel, we explore tips, strategies, and experiences that I have had that will help you start and scale up your Amazon FBA wholesale business. In this video, we are covering the top reasons of why most Amazon FBA sellers fail in their first year. And I'm going to share with you tips and tricks of how to avoid failure when selling on Amazon. Before we jump into it, if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps out the videos in the algorithm. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell as well to stay up to date on all future content. And if you guys haven't checked out the other videos on my channel where we go into detail about how to find profitable inventory for your Amazon business and ship your products into Amazon, make sure to scroll through the channel and check those videos out. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. So today we're going to be covering failure and what you need to do in order to avoid it. The reason number one of why most Amazon FBA sellers fail in their first year is because they have unrealistic expectations of the business. And unfortunately, this is due to a lot of the social media content that is consumed in this industry. Oftentimes, if you go on social media and search up how to sell products on Amazon or how to make money online, you're going to be bombarded with all kinds of advertisements for Lamborghinis and shiny objects. This you definitely want to avoid because it's going to cloud the vision of what it takes to actually start selling on Amazon. So the biggest thing, if you are a brand new Amazon seller, is to set realistic expectations. And the first step in setting realistic expectations is recognizing the fact that this is a legitimate business. Amazon FBA is not a get rich quick scheme. Amazon FBA is a legitimate inventory based business. And what that means is that in order for you to grow the size of your business, you need to reinvest the profits that you're making back into the business. And this is especially important for the first year. That's because if you're starting with a limited amount of capital, you need to be using the profits that you're making from the sales that you're getting, whether it's doing retail arbitrage or wholesale, you need to be using those profits to then reinvest back into the business in order for it to grow bigger, right? So the first step when you are selling on Amazon or if you've decided to start an online business, an Amazon FBA business, stop watching these advertisements and, and stop listening to people that are standing in front of Lamborghinis telling you how easy it is to sell on Amazon. Amazon FBA is simple, but it's not easy. It can make you rich, but it's not gonna happen overnight. So by setting realistic expectations, you are going to set yourself up for long-term success. Reason number two of why most people fail in selling on Amazon is because they quit too early. Did you know that if you make it past the first six months of selling on Amazon, you are way more likely to succeed than the brand new Amazon seller? This is because most Amazon FBA sellers do not survive the first six months. The first six months is a grind because you are buying inventory and you are struggling to find profitable products. That's because you're a brand new Amazon seller. You're probably gated in a lot of product categories by Amazon and your purchasing options are limited. And at the same time, you probably have limited capital so you don't actually have that much money to invest into these products even if you could find profitable products. So quitting too early is definitely a top reason of why a lot of Amazon FBA sellers fail because let's face it, a lot of people that are getting into this business unfortunately get into it because they see these kinds of ads. So quitting too early is oftentimes a result of unrealistic expectations. So these two go hand in hand. So if you can avoid the unrealistic expectations by recognizing and understanding the fact that this is a legitimate business that is going to take time to build and then also delaying gratification so that you don't quit too early, this is going to set you up for long-term success. Reason number three of why people fail in selling on Amazon is because they don't know their numbers. And a lot of times 
This reason number three happens as the business grows. If you don't know your numbers at the ground level and you don't understand the differences and trends in your sales volume, your gross profit margin, your net profit margin, your return on investment, your profit margin as a percentage of your sales, your business is literally going to crumble as it grows. So nailing down your numbers on the ground level is going to be absolutely crucial. But a lot of times we will see all the time that businesses fall apart as they grow because they don't understand their numbers. And a lot of times there are Amazon FBA businesses out there that are just bleeding cash. There are multi-million dollar businesses that are selling on Amazon that are running completely unprofitable businesses and that is a result of not knowing your numbers. So as you grow your Amazon business, you want to maintain profitability and make sure profitability is the focus of the business and not just sales volume. So knowing your numbers is definitely a reason of why a lot of Amazon FBA sellers fail, but this oftentimes happens after the first year. So within the first year of selling on Amazon, people have unrealistic expectations. They quit too early because they get discouraged and they're not seeing the results that they were expecting to see in the beginning because of those unrealistic expectations. And then as they grow, they lose sight and track of their numbers, which ultimately results in them running business that doesn't make any profit. So what do you need to do in order to ensure that you succeed in selling on Amazon and how do you avoid these mistakes? Well, number one, if you are getting into an Amazon FBA business, the best thing to do is to scour YouTube and watch as much content as possible. You need to be filling your brain with information of what it takes to actually sell on Amazon. And you also need to surround yourself with a community of like-minded people that are going to help you grow and succeed. This is because you are immersing yourself in a community of other people that are also working towards the same goal. And with this, it's going to be much more encouraging on the path of Amazon FBA, because let's face it, most people are not running an Amazon FBA business. So this means joining communities, Facebook groups, networking in the industry, and building relationships with people that are also running Amazon FBA businesses. At the same time, you definitely want to avoid those people that are flashing shiny objects in your face, like Lamborghinis or mansions or crazy supercars, because at the end of the day, that's not what selling on Amazon FBA is like. Can Amazon FBA buy those things if you build a successful business? Absolutely, but that's not what the business is like. So you need to be gravitating towards people that are sharing content of what it actually takes to start selling on Amazon, showing you what their day-to-day -day looks like and showing you proof of what they're doing with sales screenshots. This is going to set you up with realistic expectations so that you can avoid reason number two, which is quitting too early. Setting your sights on the long term is going to allow you to delay gratification and focus more so on the process rather than just making quick money right away. Understanding that this is a long-term goal that is going to be successful long-term as you build it will help you set up long-term success. And reason number three, you have to know your numbers. And it comes down to several points of data. When we look at a business, especially an inventory-based business, it is incredibly to understand not just profitability, but also understanding cash flow. This is because running an Amazon FBA business is an inventory-based business. And that means that when you make money from Amazon, you actually need to take a portion of that money and reinvest it back into more inventory in order to continue to sell those products and grow your business. So if you're a brand new Amazon seller and you are struggling to understand your numbers, I highly recommend reading Cindy Thompson's Profit First for E-commerce Sellers. Essentially, this book is going to break down the concept of separating your business into four different bank accounts. So having a bank account for inventory, having a bank account for owner's pay, for taxes, and for profit to the business is going to allow you to see the cash flow trends and understand where your cash is going rather than just investing it all back into inventory. So profitability and cash flow are key metrics that you want to look at in order to understand your numbers as you grow. Sales are great to see and good long-term goals to set, but if you cannot nail down profitability and cash flow in your business, your business is probably going to crumble as you grow. 
That's it for this video, guys. The top three reasons of why people fail in selling on Amazon. Unrealistic expectations, quitting too early, and not knowing your numbers. Having a grasp on these three concepts and setting your sights on the long term is going to really set you up to be successful long term. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell as well to stay up to date on all future content. And if you guys haven't seen the other videos on the channel where we go into details about how to source profitable suppliers, how to contact those suppliers, and then ship your products into Amazon, make sure to check out those other videos on the channel because we go into detail about all of that. And if you guys aren't following us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok under Operation AMZ, make sure to check us out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you next time.